I am Obs, and welcome back to my channel. Before we carry on, make sure you like this video, click subscribe because I'm trying to build up my followers, and yeah, please hit subscribe and then keep in tune with what's happening in the makeup world pour moi. Today I'm going to do a look inspired by Ellis Atlantis, who's the winner of Glow Up Season 1 on BBC3, now on Netflix UK. Yes. Ellis essentially turned themselves into this gorgeous grayscale glamazon with a marble kind of effect and some gold detailing. So I'm going to try and mimic that a little bit today, but not necessarily full drag. I want to kind of keep my boy aesthetic. So I'm going to kind of do a peel away type look, if I can. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So if you want to see me go from all this into this, <laughs> then keep on watching. Before we crack on with the video, I'm just going to go off camera and glue down my brows and I'll be right back. Right, so my brows are covered using the Elmer's Purple Glue Stick and Derma Colour Fixing Powder in the shade P1. I've dusted off all of the excess and now I'm ready to kind of start. The way I'm kind of thinking about it at the moment is to just do like a strip across the eyes if it's peeling and bleeding into my face, which means I can kind of keep the natural base but really just make the focus on the eye area. Ellis Atlantis wanted to kind of turn himself into this gorgeous statue-esque look, so it's really important that I get this marbling perfect, so I'll have to Google image later exactly how to do that because that's gonna be difficult. But what I need to do first, exactly like Ellis did, is get a custom grey base and kind of block that over my eye. It needs to again look as if I've stripped it back, so I might try and deepen the outer sides of my face with a darker shade of grey and bring the lighter sections in the middle just to kind of, as if you would normally contour and highlight a face, but just focusing there. To make the custom grey shade, I'm gonna use super colours in various shades from Krylon. What I've done is just kind of mix the grey shade on the back of my hand. It looks quite pale, but once that goes on, I think I've got the best shade here. And I'm just going to use it on a little flat kind of concealer style brush and just kind of outline exactly where I would want it before kind of buffing it in. Now I don't want it to look too much like it's just paper that's been torn. So I'm going to fill it in and then we can kind of work on the edges a little bit later. And now what I'm going to do is just highlight the centre of my forehead as I normally would, as well as kind of deepen the outer sides as well. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is actually bring that kind of contour shade, just the shadowing, and just bring it on the outside of where all the lines are to blend into the natural face as well. And using my pinky finger, I'm just going to buff out some of those edges as well. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so I think I've got the base at the moment. I'm just gonna quickly do some brows off camera and then I'll be right back for the next step. Okay, my brows are on. Now, Ellis, in his kind of tutorial on his YouTube channel, I'll put his YouTube channel in the description box below. Check it out, it's fabulous. He's got loads of subscribers. Teach me. He advises to keep the base and the brows and everything wet to start with, because when we start going in with the fine line detail of the black marbling, if there's any mistakes and you can easily wipe it off, he isn't wrong. <laughs> it's a great makeup artist trick. Uh, I've done it for countless looks in the past, not on myself, not just on myself, but on clients as well. That if you keep a base wet before you add in specific details, then it's going to be easier for you to correct those issues if you need to, other than if you've powdered and do it on top, if that makes sense. So I'm going to kind of Google a quick picture of some marble, do some marble detail with uh, a black super color from Cryland. And then I'm gonna set everything before I do the eyes. I feel like if I do the eyes first, then all of a sudden it's just gonna, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, so let's get some lines on my face. So I've zoomed you in a little bit, so I think it'll give you a better look at exactly what I'm doing. Like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a really, really fine tip brush, dip it into that black Supra color, and let's get scribbling. Now I know this looks really basic because there's just a lot of thick lines that you're like, bitch, that ain't marble. <laughs> but I'm gonna powder everything now. I'm gonna powder with that same Dermacolor Fixing Powder in the shade P1. Make sure to be super delicate when you're pressing on the eyebrows though. So, I packed all that powder on, I've dusted off the excess. There's still a little bit of powder in there. I've not dusted every little ounce off because I want the rest of that to kind of soak in. So I'm gonna leave that on my face to sit whilst I focus on the eyes. And when I say eyes, obviously this is the eye section, so I mean the eyeshadow. Right, now you zoomed in, you can probably see that there is this excess powder. My eyebrows are basically faded off, but don't worry, I'll save those till later. So I'm gonna try and recreate exactly what Ellis did, as well as true as I can to his look. And what he did was a black halo smoky eye. And it just so happens I have the exact same palette that he was using, which is the Alexis Stone Makeup Revolution collab, uh, and the palette is called Instinct. As a refresher, I've used this a few times in previous videos of mine, so there it is, the gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And guess which row I might go into? <laughs> of course, it is this middle row here, which is all the blacks and greys. So I'm going to start by putting the black shadow here in the inner corner and outer corner to start building up the shape that I want for my eye, and then I can slowly diffuse later. Okay, so I want this black to be a little bit more pigmented than what's coming off at the moment. So I'm gonna go back in with the tiniest, tiniest little bit of the black super color just to kind of pack that on and buff that out first before then I can set it with this powder. Perfect. And now black shadows and we're ready to keep going.
And what I'm actually going to do is go in with those lighter grey tones as well, just to kind of diffuse the eye a little bit further. And now repeat that on the other eye. As you can see, both eyes have been sketched out with the black and smoked out with some of the greys. And then gonna go in with a small synthetic brush, get some white grease paint, and actually just kind of cut the halo in the middle. And then gonna pack on lots and lots of glitter. And the glitters I'm actually gonna use are from Give Face Cosmetics. Ooh, and I'm gonna use this silver one here, which has like a mixture of little mini stars in, and then this kind of pearlescent one here as well, which is also full of little mini stars. It's gonna be so pretty! I'm going to do the same on the other eye and diffuse out the edges a little bit with some of the light grey shade and then I'll be right back. Right, so both eyes are now complete. I've got my eyebrows drawn as well. And now the next stage in Ellis Atlantis's tutorial is that he needs to kind of go into all the marbly sections uh, with the different grey shades. So if we're looking at this Alexis Stone palette, then primarily these two or three here and kind of building up the depth of, of the deep marble sections. Doing so, it's going to make it a lot easier later on to then go with some fine black lines as well as some kind of gold pigment to kind of give that full marble effect. So I'm going to take a small little fluffy brush that I use to kind of buff out my eyeshadow and using the grey shades I'm going to kind of start to fill in the sections of the marble. see how this is going to go. The whole idea is to kind of give it this diffused hazy feel um, so yeah we're going to keep going. And then for argument's sake, you're going to get a smaller brush like this and you're going to dip in ever so slightly with the black, tap off as much excess, and you're going to really just deepen, deepen the specific sections where you want shadow more so than others. Do you see what I mean about just really slightly building up some shadow? So I'm going to kind of do that all over the face and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so... It started to take a little bit more shape. I've just basically defined it a lot more than I thought I needed to, but I think it looks quite cool. I'm giving you like a superhero marble vibe. You're getting all the good. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna go in with a couple of different eyeliners. Uh, I'm gonna predominantly be using the House Labs. That's like a little felt tip, sorry. Uh, because I feel like this is gonna be really good for me to get some really fine lines and then some really kind of wobbly, chunky, fatter parts of the lining as well, just to really embody the cracks that are seen within marble and essentially you want to trace wherever you've put a line. Can you see that? how like this section here, I went a little bit thicker, here I went thinner, and you wanna kinda of just do that all over the face. So yeah.
Okay, so now it really does look like I'm a superhero. <laughs> it's time for the next stage. Uh, it's the gold flecks and the gold hues that are gonna be introduced in and around the marble. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna use a bright gold metallic pigment and then mix it with just some generic mixing medium. You can get any from companies like Mehron, Kryland, anywhere like that. Mix them together to kind of make a gold liquid and then put it on my face. So you want the gold to look something like this. You can make the gold bolder by adding more of the metallic pigment or you can shear it down by adding more of the mixing medium. And you're going to want to delicately place it in specific areas that are around where you've put predominantly dark black sections. Now I'm going to put on a gorgeous nude lip, not to detract from the eyes. I'm going to pop on a pair of what a drag eyelashes in the style Dominant, and then I'll be right back. Yes. Okay guys, here's the final look. What do you think? So as I mentioned at the beginning, this is inspired by Ellis Atlantis's kind of statuesque monochromatic marble look. For my lips, I've used a MAC lip pencil in Boldly Bare, followed by a Pat McGrath lip balm in Flesh 3. I curled my lashes and then mascaraed up using the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. Hands down, one of my favourite mascaras of all time. I've just recently topped up again, it's great. And then of course, the Water Drag Lashes in the Style Dominant. If you enjoyed this kind of a little bit more artsy, simple, not necessarily drag, but draggy look, then please leave a comment, give a thumbs up on my video, give it a like, and of course, as I said at the beginning, please, please subscribe to my channel where I'm gonna be posting more and more videos as often and as regular as I can. So yeah, until next time, I'll see you then. Bye, love.